A man hailed for his contribution to Kenya's multi-party struggle dubbed the Second Liberation and revered for the consequences he suffered thereof. A stroke he suffered while in prison that would affect half his body to date. Nonetheless, a man that the government of the day pledges to assist in what has been described as his financial difficulties in the wake of his health situation. And so this man, Stanley Kenneth Njindo Matiba and his wife, would be the president's hosts at their hotel in the south coast. President Kenyatta, his son Jomo and daughter Ngina would spend the evening with Matiba and his wife Edith. The tale of struggle and the achievements spelled out in his confident expression of recovery. Recovery. I can see. I'm, I'm recovering to become a man who will be able to fight. To do things. <laughs> Just last month, Deputy President William Ruto paid Matiba a similar visit while in Mombasa. We come here to celebrate him and to celebrate the many things that uh, he has nurtured and fathered and helped this country achieve. But it is the call from leaders in Matiba's Moranga County back here to have the government step in and assist the second liberation hero that would line the path towards government intervention. Matiba, who released his autobiography Aiming High in the year 2000, took a stab at the presidency back in 1992 and came a close second and took yet another stab in the 2007 general election coming in seventh. Jackie Maribe, Citizen Live at 9.